What's going on everybody? This is Jackie Terry here and I'm going to show you how to easily trick your muscles so you can get gains in specifically one arm. You know, the, the main objective is maintaining a high value workout. And to do this, I combine slow and controlled reps together. And what you want to do is you want to take maybe some semi-heavy weight, a 25 pound or maybe a 10 pound. doesn't really matter. Um, you want to get a weight that you can feel a good pump, pump in first. And with this 25 pound weight, I'm essentially going to get a good pump in. So I'm going to do my slow control reps on this. So I'm going to do my slow reps on this 25 pound dumbbell. Next, for the next set, which will happen immediately after I get done doing my slow control reps, I will use this 10 pound dumbbell and essentially get more reps than I did on the 25 pound dumbbell at a high volume, at a fast paced rep all with one arm. And this exercise only takes maybe about a minute or two and you're going to feel it. The thing is, is tricking your muscle fibers into working into one, combining them. Because when you do slow control reps, the blood the blood circulation cuts off through your muscle fibers. So you're forcing it to grow just by keeping that tension. You get a 10 second rest or maybe even a five second rest to go right back to the lightweight and you do multiple fast reps, high volume. And that's gonna trick that whole entire, it's gonna trick your whole entire muscle fibers because you're actually doing two workouts in one. You're working on the strength training and you're working on the cardio and high endurance and high intensity workout as well with essentially the lighter weight so you're killing two birds with one stone so i'm going to show you guys exactly how this looks like we're going to do it one with one arm once again isolations are always good you guys so you want to do you want to do isolations especially if your left arm isn't as strong as your right arm you can do isolations to kind of build your left arm to your right arm's level so hey let's get right to it baby this is jackie's training one-on-one -on -one. go first once again nice slow control reps going at a steady pace nice slow keeping that tension on that bicep once again and as you see you know in a short amount of time i already feel a good pump in my bicep that blood is that blood that blood circulation is definitely cutting off Urgh. and as you see i'm gripping onto this weight as tight as i can so i'm really using my forearms as well nice controlled slow reps once again when you're doing these slow control reps you have complete control of that weight you're not letting gravity take over by just dropping it like that. You know, you got complete control, which is causing a lot of tension on that bicep. And in a short amount of time, you're going to feel a really, really good pump in your bicep. You're going to reach into muscle failure a lot quicker. And this is already 18 reps. Ah, oh, wow. And as you see, I struggle with that last one. So... In a matter of a minute, you're going to reach muscle failure quick when doing slow, slow reps. Because you're actually controlling that weight. Now, you see I'm getting a little stretch in. That was a 10-second rest. Now, we're going to the fast, high-value reps with the light weight. And this is how you trick that body. I'm going a lot faster with that light weight. And essentially, we want to do about 40 reps on this 10 pound weight and really feel it once again high volume really trick that bicep in the groin and as you see I'm cutting into a lot of a lot of calories just by doing this at a fast pace high volume this is all with one arm go as fast as you can really high volume if this is too light you can get 15 pounds but I really feel it on this 10 pound. You want to go as fast as you can until you reach failure. Wow. As 
you see I feel a really good pump but once again you just want to hop right back into it nothing but a 10 second rest you want to go right back into those slow control reps uh, really confuse that muscle uh, I might only be able to get seven uh, wow this is how you get strong guys combine slow control reps and fast reps together with only 10 second reps and as you see my reps are even decreasing on on this lower weight I'm gonna grab on to the chair for more leverage if you can't always grab on to something to get more leverage get more momentum so get more reps. Uh, wow. Whew. Wow, I really feel this arm just blowing up. Wow. Whew. Let's keep it going. Uh, uh. And you see, I'm already going into muscle failure. Uh. Wow. Only five reps. And as you see, the reps are decreasing, but I'm keeping my workout at, at high volume. At a really high volume with one arm. So when you get into muscle failure, like I am right now, you want to go to a 10 rep maximum. And you just want to keep going. Uh, right now, I'm out of energy, so I essentially can't do slow control reps anymore on this 25 pound weight. So I'm sticking to a high volume, high intensity workout now. It switches up when you go into muscle failure. So I'm actually getting fast reps on this 25. Wow. Once again, you want to keep that volume going. Really confuse that muscle. Once again, when you get with that lightweight, you want to get as many reps as you can. Oh, wow. 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 So as you see, this one arm is just on fire. In a matter of seven minutes, in a matter of seven minutes, I was able to get a good pump in just by tricking my body. As you see, I did slow control reps from the beginning, cutting off that blood circulation, keeping that tension controlling the weight all the way down and letting my strength do all the work essentially after a couple reps 20 reps of that switched over to the light weight got about 40 reps so I mashed it over to 40 you always want to do more reps on the lighter weight and essentially um, the wash the wash rinse and repeat technique and as you see during my final reps during my final sets, I was going into muscle failure and I had to increase my rep speed on a 25 pound dumbbells because essentially I didn't have enough energy to control it all the way down. So I had to go into a high intensity workout, which is all beneficial, which is all going to help you on your strength gains. So guys, if you want big arms, if you want big shoulders, if you want everything, just combine slow and just just combine slow and fast reps together it's highly beneficial you don't want to do it separately because you might not get anything out of the pump it might be a little bit too easy just going fast fast and that's it you the main objective is to combine the two elements together to really trick your body to get strength endurance stamina muscle control, tension exercises, all in one workout in a short amount of time. You got to remember, you guys, if you can cut that time in half and still get the same amount of gains and still get the results you want in seven minutes, then, hey, then you kill, you kill, a, you save a lot of time and you, and you build more muscle. Man, I got a really good pump doing that. Wow. Once again, I'm just stretching, you know, because that, that was a really good isolation pump. Wow. Wow, I really feel it. Once again, Jackie's training one-on-one. -on -one. 
It's all about confusing your body, finding different ways to work out. 